I'm going to guide us through a quick tapping sequence that you can tap along with if you've been having trouble with feeling different sensations in your body prior to tapping or maybe after tapping. This is also called taking a subjective unit of distress score or SUDS, so you'll hear me refer to it as a SUDS as well. And basically what I want you to do first is just try to feel in your body what's there when you think about me telling you to feel what's there in your body. <laughs> and don't worry if you don't feel anything. You might notice certain beliefs or thoughts coming up or you might have emotions that you know are present but you can't really tell where they are in the body or you might even notice other things coming up for you or in your sphere. Just take a moment to kind of check in and get a baseline score for where you're at. And then we'll start tapping on the side of the hand. <sighs> Even though I can't feel this stuff in my body, I'm open to loving and accepting myself. <laughs> Even though she's asking me to feel this in my body and I can't do it, <laughs> I'm open to loving and accepting myself. Even though I just can't take a sud score, I'm open to loving and accepting myself anyways. All right, and tap on the top of the head. She's asking me to feel this in my body, and I just can't do it. <laughs> Tap on the eyebrow. I just can't feel this stuff in my body. Tap on the side of the eye. <sighs> and she keeps asking me to do it. <laughs> Tap under the eye. And I'm feeling kind of frustrated and angry about that. <laughs> Tap under the nose, and just notice if that's a factor for you at all. Tap under the lips feeling kind of angry and frustrated that I can't feel this stuff in my body. Tap on the collarbone. I feel angry and frustrated that I can't feel this in my body. And tap under the arm. I just feel so angry and frustrated that I can't feel this in my body. And tap on the top of the head. It seems like everybody else can feel it, so why can't I? <laughs> Tap on the eyebrow and just notice if that thought is there for you or present in any way. And tap on the side of the eye. I mean, it seems like everybody else can do this and I'm frustrated and angry that I can't do it too. Tap under the eye. And frustrated and angry that she keeps saying to do it and I can't. <laughs> tap under the nose. I'm just feeling so angry and frustrated about that. Tap under the lips. <sighs> Feeling so angry and frustrated that I just can't seem to feel this in my body. Tap on the collarbone. And I'm kind of asking, like, why can't I? It seems like everybody else can. <laughs> Tap under the arm. Feels like, why can't I? Everyone else seems to be able to. Tap on the top of the head. And I just feel like, what's wrong with me? Tap on the eyebrow. Feels kind of like, what's wrong with me that I can't do it? Tap on the side of the eye. And I feel kind of sad and like something's uh, bad about me because of it. Tap under the eye and just notice if that's true for you at all. Tap under the nose. <sighs> Feeling kind of a little bit sad and like something's wrong with me. Tap under the lips because everyone else seems to be able to do it so why can't I? Tap on the collarbone. What's wrong with me? Tap under the arm. I just feel kind of sad and heavy that I can't do it. Tap on the top of the head. I feel sad and heavy that I can't do it the way everyone else can. Tap on the eyebrow. I feel like what's wrong with me? Tap on the side of the eye. Why can't I do it like everyone else can? And tap under the eye. What's wrong with me? Tap under the nose. Just got me asking, what's wrong with me? Tap under the lips. What's wrong with me? No matter how much she asks me, I just can't do it. <laughs> and tap on the collarbone. I mean, I could maybe make something up. <laughs> tap under the arm and notice if that is true for you at all. <laughs> tap on the top of the head. I mean, I could say something as to what I feel, but I'd, I'd just be making it up. <laughs> Tap on the eyebrow. I could give it a score and everything as to how bad it is. <laughs> Tap on the side of the eye. But I'd just be making it up. It's not even real. <laughs> Tap under the eye. It's just made up and not even real, so what's the point of doing it? <laughs> Tap under the nose. 
and I'd just be making it up, and it's not even real. Tap under the lips. I mean, I could say something, but it's not even real anyways. It's just something I'm making up. <laughs> Tap on the collarbone. It's not like something real that I can go and measure with a ruler, for example. <laughs> Tap under the arm. It's just something I'd be making up. <laughs> Tap on the top of the head. It would just be something that I made up, not anything real. Tap on the eyebrow. And I'll probably do it wrong anyways. <laughs> Tap on the side of the eye and just notice if that feels true for you. Tap under the eye. I mean, I'd, I'd just be making it up and I'll, I'll probably do that wrong too. <laughs> Tap under the nose. I'd probably just screw it up anyways. <laughs> Tap under the lips. <sighs> Even if I tried to do it, I'd probably just screw it up. <laughs> Tap on the collarbone. I don't know if it's possible to screw it up, but if it is, I can do it. <laughs> Tap under the arm. I'd probably just screw it up if I tried to do it. Tap on the top of the head. I'd just screw it up if I tried to do it, and there's no way to know if it's even actually true anyways. <sighs> Tap on the eyebrow. And I'd probably just screw it up. And tap on the side of the eye. <sighs> and I'm wondering if that means that, you know, this won't work out for me because I can't take a suds or feel it in my body. Tap under the eye and just notice if that comes up for you. And tap under the nose. Makes me feel kind of hopeless that this isn't going to work for me because I can't do it right. Tap under the lips. Feeling kind of hopeless and sad about this. And tap on the collarbone. Feeling kind of hopeless and sad that this could work for me. Tap under the arm. Feel hopeless and sad because I can't seem to do the very first step of feeling things in my body. <laughs> tap on the top of the head. So it's pretty hopeless that this could actually work for me. And tap on the eyebrow. <sighs> it feels hopeless that it could work. Tap on the side of the eye. And, you know, when I think about feeling something in my body, I also think, like, well, who wants to feel things like anxiety or grief or tension or pain in their body anyways? <laughs> Tap under the eye. That sounds pretty uncomfortable and not very fun. <laughs> Tap under the nose and just check in if that feels true for you at all. Tap under the lips. I'm not even sure that I want to feel any of this stuff in my body. <laughs> Tap on the collarbone, because it sounds pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> Tap under the arm. Sounds like it could even be painful. <sighs> Tap on the top of the head. So I'm not sure I really even want to feel any of this stuff in my body. <laughs> Tap on the eyebrow. I'm just as happy not feeling it in my body, thank you very much. <laughs> Tap on the side of the eye. Because, you know, I don't really care to feel grief or anxiety in my body. <laughs> Tap under the eye. Sounds like it could be painful to try and feel all these kind of things in my body. Tap under the nose. <sighs> so I'm pretty okay with not feeling it. <laughs> Tap under the lips. That sounds way more comfortable to me. <laughs> Tap on the collarbone. I don't think I want to feel this stuff in my body. Tap under the arm. That doesn't sound very fun to me. <laughs> Tap on the top of the head. So I don't think I'm really too open to feeling it in my body, even if I could. <laughs> Tap on the eyebrow. <sighs> and I just don't want to feel it in my body. At least a part of me doesn't. Tap on the side of the eye. Sounds too uncomfortable and unpleasant. Tap under the eye. Doesn't sound very good. <laughs> Tap under the nose. So I don't think I really want to feel this stuff in my body under the lips. <sighs> and I'm still a little bit hopeless, like maybe this isn't really going to be able to work for me if I can't even feel the stuff in my body. Tap on the collarbone. I'd like to be open to some other possibilities though. And tap under the arm. <sighs> like what if it didn't really matter if I could feel it precisely in my body the way I'm asked to, but maybe there's lots of different ways that this could be effective still. And maybe I could feel things in my body in a way that's comfortable for me.
too. Or there could be even more possibilities that I can't even think of. <laughs> Tap on the top of the head. <sighs> that sounds kind of good in theory. I'd like to be open to those possibilities. <laughs> Tap on the eyebrow. But part of me says, like, well, I don't think so. You need to follow the rules exactly. <laughs> and if you can't do that step, then it shouldn't work. <laughs> and, you know, so it shouldn't work for me. Tap on the side of the eye. <sighs> but I kind of like to be open to those other possibilities. They sound a little promising. <laughs> New and different. Tap under the eye. But I don't think I can be. It just doesn't sound too reasonable. <laughs> Tap under the nose. Or maybe it could be. I mean, the whole thing is a little weird anyways. <laughs> Tap under lips. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can allow for other possibilities besides what I already know and expect. <laughs> Tap on the collarbone. Or maybe I could. And Tap under the arm. Whether I could or whether I couldn't, either way I'd like to be okay and just accept myself as I am. Alright, and take a nice deep breath. And let's just check back in. So try and notice what you feel in your body now, <laughs> or what response you have to me asking you to do so. <laughs> so just see what comes up for you at all. Just take kind of a moment to pause and step back and see the big picture. So you might be able to actually feel some things in your body at this point in time or be more confident about what you had been feeling before. It might also be that you're noticing certain thoughts or beliefs coming up or maybe feeling some emotions even if you can't tell where they are physically. Sometimes you can even kind of sense things in some way that you can't really describe. So just kind of tune in to whatever is going on for you now. And you might notice that, you know, hey, I am actually noticing something and some changes before and after. And, you know, even if it's not the exact way I expected, maybe I can still kind of tune into this. The other thing that might happen is you might have noticed some things coming up as we were tapping, some specific memories perhaps, where maybe, you know, you had been told you had to do things in a certain order in a certain way and weren't able to and then things didn't work out. Um, or maybe sometimes when other people were able to do something that you couldn't and you felt hurt about that. So if you did notice any of those specific events coming up for you, you can always do some tapping on those with the tell the story technique and that's a really great way to help clear any hurt feelings or limiting beliefs around those so that you can kind of allow for more different possibilities of things in your life. And then once you're able to let go of that baggage, it really opens up kind of a full spectrum of getting really great results and not having this bad feeling going along with uh, trying to check in before and after. 